Okay, now we're going to talk about how to use a z-score table. Oh, I bet you thought z-scores are exciting enough. No, we have tables too. Um, see, now we can just, with a single number, we can say how unusual something is. For example, let's say someone says, hey, I have a z-score of 2.75. What does that mean? Well, it's a positive number. It means it's more than the average. It's um, more, it's somewhere between two standard deviations up and three standard deviations up. But we can go to a z-score table, tu -tu 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 -tu, and on the z-score table you see this nice picture. It says, oh look, we have uh, everything up to, it's talking about the everything up to the z-value. Right. And we want 2.75. These are all negative numbers. We go down to the next page. 2.7 is right here, 2.7, and then if we look up at the tops of these columns, it goes where? Um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's this blue column right here. We go down to 2.75 is right here. 99.7. That's 99.7 percent. So that tells us something. That tells us that A, if you have a z-score of 2.75, then on the bell curve, here you are, you're not average, you are talking about something that is x plus 2.75 sigmas away, and what that told us was all of this, everything in here, is 99.7 percent which is to say if you scored two if you are if your IQ is a z-score of 2.75 that means you are as you have a higher IQ or the same IQ as 99.7 percent of the population only 0.3 percent of the population is as smart or smarter than you if IQ goes with smartness let's just say has IQ of that much so pretty unusual to be in the top you know the top 0.3 percent what about a z-score of negative 1.5 well if your z-score is z is no negative 1.34 let's go back to the table now we're up in the negatives and here's the, the problem. The last digit is 4 is here now. What was, in fact, the same column? Negative 1.34 is negative 1.34. Negative 1.34 is right here. 0.0901. So that's 9.01%. So that tells us that we are 0.9. Okay. So, we are not average. I keep forgetting to put the bars on these. We are below average. We're not x minus 1 standard deviation. We are x minus 1 and a little bit. x minus 1.34 sigmas. And what that chart told us was that 9.01% of the population is that or less. So... So what? If your height is a z-score of negative 1.34, it means you are as tall or taller than 9% of the population. It means that you are shorter than or the same height as 91% of the population. So you're kind of small, but it's not that unusual. I mean, if this was 10%, it would mean you're in, you know, if there's 10 people, you're probably the shortest one. If there's 100 people, there's probably, you know, nine other people as short or shorter than you. So, you know, you, you might be, you're probably not the shortest person in the class of 30. Because, you know, you'd think in a class of 30, there'd probably be about three people in the bottom 10%. And you're one of them, but not necessarily the lowest one. What about a z-score of negative 0.37? Uh, let me erase these negative 0.37 well we go to the chart and on the next test there's going to be a copy of this chart maybe a simplified version of this chart so it fits on the chart because this is a two-page thing um, this particular value I'm, I'm checking out because it's it's especially annoying negative point 
three seven. I, I don't know why the table is laid out quite this way. But if you look at it, for the negative values, it goes zero the, the, the third digit. So we have, you know, the first the, 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 the first decimal places are here and the second decimal places are across. But it goes zero, one, two, three, four from the right. Whereas on the next page, it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 from the left. Um, but this data up above is still using the, co the column headings from previously. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 0.34 is this one. 36.69%. Is that what we wanted? Uh, no, negative 3.7. Okay, sorry about that. 0 0.37, 0 0.37. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This number. 3557. 35.57. So it is 35.57%. And what does that mean? That means we are, it's a negative z-score, so we are not at the average. We're a little bit less. We're a little bit less. We are at the point x minus 0.37 sigma, x bar. And what that's telling us is the number of people, the number of things, whatever it might be. Are these salaries? Are these lengths of snakes? Doesn't matter. It just tells us that 35.57% are less than that and what? 100 minus 35.57, which is approximately, what, 36 100 minus 36 is 64%. So, okay. It's like one-third of the way up, more or less. So, this is not unusual at all to have something that like a third of everything is less than it and two-thirds of everything is more than that. That's not something unusual at all. As I said before, you kind of need to have z-scores of 2 or negative 2 before scientists' eyebrows start going up. Uh, I'm going to do a couple other examples, but you should be able to take z-scores and look them up on a table, and the next video will talk about how you can use that for real-life problems.